a Shanghai resident will spend 15 years in prison and pay the equivalent of seven and a half million dollars for selling black market drugs to cure FIP, a fatal cat virus. Hu Muyan made $11 million selling desperate cat owners her version of an unapproved treatment mixed with an approved veterinary drug. But that amount of money wasn't enough. When others sold the same fake drug she did, she had her accomplices impersonate U.S. pharmaceutical company employees to report the competitors to the police for selling counterfeits. Black market pet medicine is a problem here in the U.S. too. We found reports in at least eight states just since 2020 and we don't even watch pet medicine counterfeits that carefully. Incidents like these are another reason to protect the U.S. drug supply chain. Fake vet drugs can hurt our pets, and if they aren't effective, they can allow the spread of disease and fuel drug-resistant infections that threaten us all. But the FDA has tips about how to make sure veterinary suppliers are legitimate. If you're buying animal medicines, start with the resources at this URL from the FDA.